Hey, welcome back to my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs and in this video I'm going to be packing my new pencil case full of art supplies and showing you what essential art supplies I'll take with me on future mini breaks. I'll also highlight the pros and cons of the pencil case that I ended up getting just in case you're also interested in it. If I could pack everything, I would and I often try to. So I bought this smallish pencil case as a way to make me a bit more selective and a bit more organised. The case itself itself is slightly bigger than A5 size, it's around 8 centimeters deep, it has two detachable pencil case flaps and one that is sewn in. Removing those two pencil holders gives you a deeper compartment which is how I'm going to be using it. I got mine from Amazon and I'll link it down below. Now in terms of essentials, first and foremost I have to start with my Stay Wet palette which also comes with a portable plastic cup and a brush holder. This beloved piece is the reason that I did my massive Jackson's haul and I will use it for my Winsor & Newton paints. I haven't filled it yet because I want the paint to be as fresh from the tube as possible so I'm just delaying it. And another one I will probably use for my Himimiya gouache which will vary drastically from the 1.225 grams that it currently weighs. The palette fits perfectly in the case and can contain 16 colours. For my watercolours I wanted to use something different so this is a palette that I got from Amazon. It's customisable and comes with empty pans that you can stick magnets to the bottom of and you can either add paint from tubes to the pans or you stick these magnets to half pans from your favourite watercolour sets. It can fit probably 12 pans very comfortably and 16 at a push and I'll use this to fill it with some of my favourite colours from my winter a Newton set as well as some of my watercolours from Daniel Smith which as you know I've been incredibly precious about so it'll essentially be an array of my favourite watercolours that I'll build over time. Just in case you're curious the pencil case is large enough to fit the Winsor & Newton size tin and the Stay Wet palette as well as everything else that I'm going to include but I prefer the smaller watercolour palette that Next are my binder clips to hold pieces of paper together, my mechanical pencil, a rubber, some tape for those nice neat borders and I like to use Posca pens for highlights so I'm going to bring my white ones and my gold one, then a water bottle for spritzing and I wanted to know if it could hold everything. Could this pencil case also hold sketchbooks? And the answer is yes, it can hold either one A5 sketchbook or two A6 sketchbooks. I wouldn't travel without my final liners. I use the Uniball fine liners in an array of different sizes. In theory I could just use three but I actually decided to take four so the 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 size. I love using them to complement my watercolour paintings or just using them to do complete illustrations so they are my go-to. Now I had to include the Viviva colour sheets and I've done a separate review on these they are super portable, the colours are beautiful so of course I had to include them and they take up such a little space that it'd be a shame to miss them out. If you're enjoying the video so far then don't forget to hit the like button as it really helps out my channel. In terms of paint brushes, this pencil case allows me to carry my watercolour brushes and keep them relatively safe. I like to carry two round brushes and one filbert brush and I carry two round brushes because they are my kind of favourites so I want them in different sizes. I also carry round brush aqua pens because they're super portable and allow me to just paint on the go as well. I want to experiment sketching with red pencil, I've seen that done and I quite like the effects so I want to try that. And these are my mixed media round travel brushes. So they don't hold as much water as my watercolour brushes, but I can paint with them with gouache, with watercolour, without worrying about damaging them. So that's why I'd probably also carry two sizes of these. And then I'd also have a ballpoint pen. In terms of some cons that I'd like to highlight, here I'm demonstrating the first, that the sleeves at the front are just too shallow, which means that they're not really fit for purpose. I couldn't fit anything inside, not pens, not the sketchbooks. And if I try to put rubbers or smaller things like that then the pencil case wouldn't shut so that's just one thing that I would change and the way that I get around it is by adding all those things to the zipped compartment. I would have loved for the pencil case to be just a little bit deeper so it wouldn't be quite a struggle to fit everything I want to fit in but that's obviously just down to personal choice. In terms of the pencil holders or the pen holders at the front, they were quite tight so unfortunately they can't fit my pens which is why they had to go into the zipped area as well. And that is it. That is everything in my pencil case. It's just about fit. You 
you can see it's kind of like bursting at the seams. I could remove the sketchbook and make it a bit easier, but it's so nice to know that I have the option to put everything in and just take this and all my essentials are there. Thank you so much for watching and for making it this far into the video. You're a real MVP and I truly, truly appreciate you. Let me know if you've made it this far by telling me what your favourite mediums are down below in the comments. I hope that you and your loved ones have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you next week. Bye.